pretty cold today, cloudy. Feels like rain, but they say it's not going to. I'm on the hunt for something. I think it's over here. <clears throat> this vast wilderness. If I'm right, it should be right down here. Oh, I see something going on. Okay. I think we've got it. It's hard to see from here. Let's... Oh, yeah. This is definitely it. <clears throat> Abandoned racetrack in the middle of the forest. Langley Speedway to be exact. And later changed to Action Raceway, I believe. Where we're basically standing right now, which is completely fully overgrown, this would have been the grandstands of this racetrack. So everyone would have sat right here. There would have been stands here, you sit on, you watch the races. I'm gonna go down for a better look. It's an easier way to get there, I think. And here's remnants of some stairs right here. Still here. From the mid 80s. This racetrack opened, I believe, 64, 65, some debate on exactly which year, but somewhere in there. And it closed in roughly 84. So I'm going to pause for a second. Actually here, what we're looking at right here, this was the parking lot. So everybody would have parked right here. It wasn't gravel, I don't think, or anything. It was just really cleanly mowed grass and everyone parked their cars right here. This whole area. And we're going to walk down and I'll show you what it looks like from ground level. Back in a second. So this would have been the access road. It's all the way up there. Assuming that's how all the race cars got down here. And it's still paved. This is still pavement here. Literally in the forest. <laughs> this is hectic. Okay. Give me one second. And this is presumably where they would enter the track. Right here somewhere. And here it is. The old ass racetrack. There's some other people enjoying themselves over there. The middle would have been the pit area, the cruise. And right up there was the grandstands, right along there. And right somewhere, probably like this, in this area here would have been the announcers booth. There's a big tower there. 
and all the grandstands would have gone like this. And if you can imagine, over 2,000 people would be sitting up there. It doesn't sound like a lot, but this tiny little track, that's quite a few people. So they would have sat right up there, a little booth up there for the announcer. There would have been concessions and whatnot, of course. <clears throat> and this track is a quarter mile long. It's been measured. And apparently it's pretty much exactly a quarter mile. So it's pretty small considering there would have been at some, some of the races, there was something like over 30 cars. So if you can imagine 30 cars, I mean, that's pretty tight. Like, they'd be double spaced, car here and car there, 32 times. Boom, 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 like this. So the race would start over there, and they would go this way, like this. And the front cars would eventually hit the back end of the cars. And <laughs> you can imagine 32 cars on this little tiny track. There was a lot of crashes. I came here in late 70s, 80s, early 80s, and actually witnessed races here. So pretty cool to be back. It's literally been years since I've been here. But they did have a 50th anniversary. It opens, they, they say 65, somebody said 64 I read, but so in 2015, there was actually a big event down here. I mean, all kinds of stuff was happening here. And uh, yeah, like a 50 year anniversary. Another entry here, so they could use this as well for access. This is the old wall. Pretty sure there was, I don't know if here, but this is where the grandstands were. So there was chain link fence all along there too. But this is the wall here. And you can actually see right here. The scrapes and all kinds of stuff where cars hit it. And there was literally accidents all the time. <laughs> like, cause there's so many cars on this tiny little thing. And uh, I'm not sure if they had chain link fence on this side or not. Cause no one really sat here, but it's dented and cracked. And I think they've done some refurbishment to this over the years. There's actually talk of them possibly reopening it. There's people trying to start a movement to uh, to reopen this little thing, so. And I'm pretty sure it is now owned by Vancouver Regional District, I believe. And I'm pretty sure it's declared like a heritage site or something now. I mean, there's all kinds of marks here and here, and this is where cars would have just nailed it. <clears throat> and so, pretty neat, really cool. So 2,000 plus people up there, and I'm not sure if they have had 40 cars, but I did read there was over 30, 32, something like that. So they would have went two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, you know, sixteen, twenty, twenty, you know, what, however, however it worked, but. You know, that's a lot of cars for this little track. So it's pretty cool. I'm gonna go over here. This is where the the finish line would have been and the starting. And whoever won you typically would do burnouts right here and donuts and all kinds of stuff. I'm now standing on what was the pit area. They had uh, sort of like logs as fences all kind of here and throughout this area and this would have been filled with the crews. You can go online, you can see pictures from the 60s and they're all standing right here. Really neat to be here actually. So 
So I'm pretty sure here would have been the, uh, they used to have like a, you know, like a checkered flag type of design here. And there's an actual line here. I don't think that's original. I mean, it's possible, but I'm pretty sure this used to be like a checkered flag type of scenario. But this is it right here. This is the starting line. They would have went this way, all the way along. And I think some of them had a hundred laps. And the grandstand's right there. So. Pretty neat to be standing here, gotta say. All kinds of nicks and stuff in the wall. <laughs> oh, I remember these races. It was fun when you were a kid. It was so fun. And we used to live around here, so we are literally five minutes from... Our house was five minutes from this track. So every Friday night, basically, we would come here, Saturday. So that's it. Abandoned racetrack. Langley Speedway. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the thumbs up for me. And we will see you next time. Take care.